Welcome. Let's solve quadratic equations by completing the square. The method of completing the square can be done in three steps. First, we're going to take a look at our equation. And any term that has a one variable, let's keep it on one side. And any term that has a constant, let's move it to the other. In our equation, notice that we have three terms. The first two, they have a variable of x. So let's keep these two terms on the left hand side. And the last term that has a constant of 7, let's move it to the other. Let's do that by subtracting 7 on both sides. Now that the first step has been done, we're going to look at the term that has a variable of x on it, which in this case, that will be the term of 8x. And we're going to take a look at the coefficient of x. And we're going to do two operations to it. First, we're going to divide it by 2, which is going to give us 4. And then we're going to square the result. which is going to give us 16. And with that, we're done with the second step. And this value of 16 that we obtain from the second step, we're going to add it to both sides of the equation. Plus the value of 16. And on the right hand side, we're going to get negative 7 plus the value of 16. And now we're done with the procedure of completing the square. Let's simplify our result. Now notice what's going to happen on the left hand side. If we try to factor that expression, we're going to be looking at two numbers that if we multiply them, it needs to give us the value of 16. And if we add them up, they need to give us the value of 8. And notice that those values, it's 4 and 4. These two values, when we multiply them, they give us the value of 16. And when we add them up, that does give us the value of 8. And then in addition, notice that this is the value that we raised to the second exponent. So now we can write the left hand side in our equation in factor 4 as x plus 4 times x plus 4. And the right hand side, let's bring it down. But now notice that when you have the same expression and you multiply it by itself, that's the same as just raising it to the second exponent. So we can write this down as x plus 4 to the second. Which is exactly what we wanted to get. This is the objective of completing the square. We got our polynomial and we were able to write it down into a factor raised to the second exponent. And now that we have it in this form, it is easier to solve for x. Notice that x is inside the parenthesis that has been raised to the second. So what we need to do, we need to get rid of the second exponent. To do that, Let's take the square root to both sides. Now we're going to get x plus 4 by itself. And the right hand side, we're going to get plus or minus the square root of 9, which is 3. So now we have two equations to consider. The first, using the plus side of the plus and minus. And the second, using the minus sign of the plus and minus. And at this point, we solve them individually. In our first equation, to solve for x, let's subtract 4 to it. So now we know that x is equivalent to negative 1. And on the right-hand side, let's subtract 4 as well. So now we're going to get that x is equivalent to negative 7. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.